Hello everyone and welcome back to Tramsim Munich. Today we are looking at the brand new update that was released yesterday for Tramsim Munich which mainly looks at optimization fixes, AI fixes and also improvement of the level of detail in the maps by adding in more props and basically just scenery updates. And since it is winter, here we are in the snow, uh, slightly protected by this nice little structure here at Münchener Freiheit, which basically means Münchener's freedom. We'll be driving line 23, which is a nice and short line, only 8 minutes long, so it allows uh, for nice and easy short videos. And yes, let's just enjoy this quick pan panoramic around the R22B. Yeah, look at the snow, it's a winter wonderland, although there's not as much snow on the the like pavement to get, uh, compared to like Vienna I think and in this video we'll also be talking about some of the announcements that have been made about Vienna including what new line will be added in and there's also a new DLC that's been made for Vienna it's interesting that they're still making DLCs for Vienna because I thought they'd look at making more maps that kind of thing uh, but yeah more about that in a second so we're doing easy mode because I'm about to do the cold start and also admittedly uh, I haven't played this in a lot of months so I've kind of forgotten <laughs> the cold start on this um, Yes, now, sorry, the keybinds, annoyingly the keybinds always change in this for some reason, um, so, yeah, it's very annoying. So we're not going to be using the indicator, because the indicator is, for some reason, bind as a, with the same button as the, um, the stop brake. Um, is he? Stand, okay. Interesting. Oh, I forgot how you do this wheelchair yoke. Let's see if I remember. I think. Oh yes, yeah, caps. Okay, I'm actually gonna have to look at the settings because, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's I had I had them changed, but unfortunately they change all the time, so they're a bit annoying like that. So let's see. Door one. Nine. I like the default settings for Champs and Vienna. Door release four. Fine and left indicator. No. Nope. Yeah, no, that's right. Illuminate the push. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, so I'm just trying to remember the old Vienna keybinds. And the door release, I have that, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know why they changed the, the pantographs. What was the thing I need to do? Oh, yeah, it's the stop break. Break, emergency stop. Nope, not that. Emergency break, no, that's fine. I'm just get bear with me here while I figure this out. Yeah, it's just because the keybinds are terrible, so you kind of have to change them yourself. So, these are basically. No, I think they're terrible. I think other people also think that. So, yeah, now it's just the break. This is the vehicle control. Where's the, like, stop break? Ah, there we go, station break. Put that to plus. Open permanently. Put that to. I don't even know what that means. Oh no, put that to enter. Okay, fine. Oh, I don't think we're going to be using that, so yeah, just put it. I uh, put it as an enter, the numpad enter. Hopefully, it's not the same thing. So, there we go. Doors are open now. Uh, now, this thing I think was F1. How do you open the. Oh yeah, help manual. Well, no, no. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, you have to open this door manually. Let's see what this says. Uh, set. Door one to yeah, okay. Haven, okay, yeah, so just have to click the buttons. Uh yep, yeah, or the seven stuff. Um get rid of this yoke. Or not. Yeah, there was a key mine for this, but uh, as you see I have forgotten. Okay, we'll yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. The train is braked with the oh yep, yeah, that's the that's what I'm missing. I think. Oh no, I, no, I had one. Oops. Nope. Um, let's. Sh nope. There we go. Fine. The key first stand is set to I. What key? What? What? Yeah, what? What first stand key? Oh, Zenkin. Yeah, so. Yeah, because the second means the sink, heaven means the lift. Oh yeah, perfect, fine. That's all good. Okie dokie. 
This chapel is now also in Vienna. Yeah. Let's see if the F1 works. No, it doesn't sell. Yeah. They've also added in a new launcher, which uh, I think was added in before, but for some reason it wasn't working for me, but now it's up. So the launcher now works as well, which is nice. Yeah, now lift this up. Yeah, here all you have to do is you have to lift this up and then push up. So, what I mean by that is, yeah, you'll see. It's a strange system because usually the way the ramp should work is you, once you've lowered it down, you should be able to move up the whole way through, not have to actually fidget with it while someone's on the ramp. Don't think it's the best engineering thing because this is a German tram, isn't it? Usually they're very efficient with the engineering. I don't think that's the best engineering of a ramp system, personally. You have to have someone on the ramp. Although I'm not sure if that's just in trams in Vienna, but they have to have someone wait on the ramp. No, that's wrong. Uh, before they can actually move. Um, knock that off. Why is this door not closing? Maybe I haven't fully lifted the yoke. Yep, there you go. You see, like, what the difference is make it. It may look like it's closed, but it's not. Switch that off. I think this is a bus for a second. Like, where's the wheel? Perfect. Okay. That went smoothly ish, although. <laughs> it's 8 minutes journey time, we just spent probably 8 minutes there just setting up the lat. It should have this little... Well, I was gonna say Porsche, but that's not Porsche, like this little roof yoke. Eh, uh, but come on. These signals don't seem to be working. That's the indicator of turning right. Yeah, I'm not sure if this signal works, so I'm just gonna chance it. Um, wipers. Where are the wipers? I will go without wipers. But yeah, the performance is a lot smoother. I was saying this with the Vienna update. And there will be an update for Vienna next Tuesday. So expect a video for that as well. This might be a nice oh, screenshot. Okay, I might have my uh, stop announcements too loud. Oops. Yeah, I might have... Uh, <laughs> maybe wasn't paying too much attention or enough attention. But yeah, as you can see, one thing smoother. Especially considering this is a low spec PC. Okay, well, the car disappeared there, but... Uh, Nothing major we can live without, you know, you guys watch Homsi too, so anything in comparison should be comparable. It also looks like the better, I think. Okay, now presumably we can go because they're going. There's also going to be a new line. It's not going to be the full line though in Vienna, it's just going to be half the line for some reason. Wider than that, I don't know. But yeah, apparently this line, the 20G has had the most fixes, so that's one of the reason we're doing this now. I'm not really sure what the fixes are, I think it's just in the scene because apparently stuff was missing. But, I don't know, I think actually there was a part between the, the terminus of the 28, I think, and this, but... But yeah, it does seem to be better, it seems to be much better. But there isn't much more for me to say, so I think what I might do is, I might let you guys enjoy the route, because uh, there's not much more to the route. But yeah, I have to say, the map does, yeah, I think they have made improvements. Detail seems to be, there seems to be more detail on this route, for sure. There's only the 23 in parts being a bit lacking, and performance is a lot better, so fair play the view up for uh, fixing that up. Uh, and, I mean, it kind of speaks for itself, I'm using the NVIDIA Shadow Blade, so pretty much what you see on screen should be more reflective of what I'm seeing on screen because sometimes with OBS or with playback and stuttering it may seem like the game is not running smoothly when it actually is uh, with Nvidia Shadow Play that doesn't tend to happen thankfully no what's wrong why is this not moving oh there we go yeah the open and closed doors are the same used to be the two different buttons
But yeah, folks, uh, what I'll do now is I'll turn off the microphone and let you guys enjoy the loop. So yeah, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of line 23 in the snow. Although it's more like the snow. Okay, yeah.
Station. Bitte alle aussteigen. Terminus. All change, please.